Named after a local Nhunzwa chief, Honge National Park is the largest in Zimbabwe. And October is when this great plateau is at its driest. With animals gathering at waterholes, it's also the best time of year for game viewing. Amongst the 400 bird species and 100 types of mammal, the elephants are the stars of the show. As our private guide, Louis Mangaba, told us, they are the reason why this is known as the land of the giants. Louis, it's actually quite amazing that we're standing amongst a herd of elephants. This is actually what actually makes Wanga special. So Wanga measures about 1.4 million hectares. So it's one of the greatest densities of uh, elephant in the whole world. So what you're looking at right now, we actually got different families here with different matrix. So dry season makes uh, the highest concentration of uh, animals in one place. They somehow seem quite unbothered by our presence. So in order for them to know that we're here, we always take the, the bullet and actually knocks uh, against uh, the magazine. So this metallic sound actually helps them to be aware of our presence here. So we actually got young bulls like these ones, uh, possibly 20 years or so. So they always want to show they're actually big uh, by extending toe and challenging every species. I believe you use quite a unique method to provide water for the elephants in quite a dry area. You're right, especially this area is actually very dry. So we have a very healthy aquifer here. So the drainage uh, lines that we're actually standing, they're actually uh, part of uh, one of uh, the ancient uh, a lake in Botswana which is called Mahadi Hadi. So we had a very healthy uh, um, water table underground. What is absolutely fascinating is that we're literally about 50 meters away from the elephants and yet I don't think you'll get an experience like this anywhere in the world. Africa is definitely where you're supposed to be and Zimbabwe is that country. We were guests at Somalisa Acacia which is situated on an acacia island along these floodplains. This year-round tented camp on a private concession sleeps a total of 14 and offers a wildlife experience in a class of its own. Yvonne, you really have such a beautiful property here. Well, we offer an authentic um, African bush experience here. So, you know, you've got the um, luxury of the tents, but also just that inner piece of fresh air, animal sounds, and just the beauty of the African bush that we have to offer. The wonderful aspect about guests staying here is that they contribute to sustainable tourism. Absolutely. Um, guess what? We actually won the Green Tourism Award. We got the Gold Star, which is the only one in Zimbabwe. You might have seen the big solar panels when you're driving in. So this whole camp is actually operated by solar. Very soon, we're looking at recycling all the grey water so we can actually give it back to the pan. And also all the products, the cleaning products and the animities in your room, they're all eco-friendly as well. So we make sure that we're keeping in line with that. These elegantly furnished sail tents, each ensuite and with a glass wood burner fireplace, offer a charm, a privacy and style from another era. I absolutely love the brass and copper finishes. Yes, this is inspired by a classic safari with modern twist. This lovely bed that we have here is made by a company in Blue Wave. So you try to keep everything internal? Absolutely, and even the brick wall, we gave a lot of business to the local um, brick makers. This is handmade in Deta, which is just outside of the Wanga National Park. So it's been really good working with the community as well. A definite showpiece for me is that amazing bath. Isn't it just gorgeous? Can you see that um, nice copper look that it has? It's very subtle, but very classic and luxurious as well. Each tent has an indoor and outdoor shower. There are views in every direction. And when it's mealtime, head chef Adam Nyoni offers quite an experience. Okay, this is an interactive menu. Everything, it's uh, homemade. So this is fun for the whole family and that wonderful homemade pizza oven that we have. Three minutes and your pizza is good to go. I have a brilliant idea. One thing you don't know about me is that I'm a huge foodie. So I think Chef Adam should judge who makes the best pizza between you and I. You're on. Good luck. It's some kind of place to get a pizza craving. But since you're unlikely to get any delivery service bringing you a margarita or pepperoni out here, this is a stroke of genius. It wouldn't be the last one on our visit. Yvonne and Lorna were in this to win it and weren't above currying favour with the judge. <laughs> Baking pizzas is a fine distraction for younger guests who understandably can't go on walking safaris. Deciding a winner between kids is far easier for Chef Anyoni than finding himself caught between two proud lady chefs. Now I have to announce my winner. 
Uh, Luna, you are the winner because of my homemade onion marmalade and homemade chili. I love that. Thank you very much, Chef. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Should we dig in? Shall we? Absolutely. It was after lunch that Lorna discovered the elephant pool and just how close it gets you to these great creatures. No one said it was going to be this spectacular. I mean, that is truly phenomenal. We just didn't want to tell you everything. This is one of those things you have to discover and just experience by yourself. When this camp first started, this was actually a human pool. Wow. But of course, elephants, you know, and other animals just being them, they took over. They're like, why are you having fun in the fresh water? We want to have it. So obviously we're like, you know what? Go for it. We put the little trough there so the babies can also have a drink. So now it just belongs to them. That's their water. I love how this lodge constantly puts the animals first before the humans. Of course, we are visitors here. Remember that. So we have to look after the animals and then we come after that. The dry months are the best time to visit Somalisa. During the green season from December to March, animals are harder to spot, but the birding is spectacular. For us, it was an elephant extravaganza. It's quite fascinating to watch. As one family comes in, the other moves out, and there's quite a lot of order in the wild, which one wouldn't automatically assume. I think the most fascinating thing for me is that it's moments like this that make you appreciate life and this blessing called the wild. The subtropical thorn and sand flats were once home to the nomadic sand bushmen. Their preservation has everything to do with unforgettable tourism experiences like this one. Next, we follow Denzel Safula in the footsteps of Hwange's first warden, Ted Davison, who began protection against poaching and started tourism here. This pop-up bush restaurant that leaves nothing but your footprints is one he would approve of. Denzel, I think trying to take the city life out of me is definitely working. This is absolutely amazing. Yes, I mean, a lot of people are, are used to the whole setup in the lodges and, uh, you know, the three courts and etc. But uh, the bush setup itself, actually, the whole mandate there is to bring you closer to the nature. I mean, look around you. Uh, another possible chance of an elephant just moving around here are very high. So that is the whole idea. I think your strategy is working. This is really great. Should we dig in? Please, enjoy your meal. A burger with the guys out here in their domain was already a treat. What Lorna didn't expect was live entertainment. Lorna, I got one more surprise for you. Okay, I'm excited. You're gonna love this, definitely. First up, we got a menswear fashion show on the latest trends in Hange style, followed by a live unplugged concert from Mr. Louis Mangaba. Here I was thinking we were coming out to the wild, but the wild came out to us. How beautiful was that? I'm sure there were about 30 elephants just walking around us as we're having this delicious lunch. Magical. Thank you, guys. This style of safari was begun by entrepreneur Bex Nglovu. After a career as a high-end safari guide, he established his first camp, and today he has nine of them in three countries. Bex, this place has opened my eyes to a part of Zimbabwe that I don't think people are really familiar with. I think that's the magic and the beauty of it, is uh, being out in a place that is, I would say, uh, unexplored to a large extent. So you really feel like, you know, there is remote and then there's Somalisa. What has been amazing for me is the heart of the people that work at Somalisa. They've really made it feel like home. I think for me it's always been, you know, everybody has got wildlife, everybody has got the big five and everybody has got, you know, fancy places with everything that opens and closes and it's, for us it's never been about that. That's why our slogan is an authentic African experience and really the magic is created by the superstars who are the guides, the magicians, the artists who actually create all of this magic. I've visited many lodges and done many safaris in my life, but this has truly been one of the most magnificent experiences I've ever had. Zimbabwe has ignited my love for wildlife and Somalesa is now a place I can also call home. Cheers. From Vic Falls, it's 40 minutes by air, then a 30 minute game drive. Our thanks to Airlink, who flew us to and from Bulawayo, on time and in the spacious Avro RJ85. With over 4,000 flights a month to 36 destinations in nine African countries of the SADC sub-region, Airlink fly to more local destinations than any other airline. <laughs>